Thanks, we'll little lighter. We owe you. This shouldn't take long. This should come in handy. Out of Square's vast catalog, the Mana series is perhaps one of the most intriguing, mainly because its existence has become an underrated cornerstone of the JRPG genre. While the classics have seen resurgence from remakes, only Trials of Mana received notable acclaim, and then there was that short-lived gotcha, but there's been no brand new mainline title in 15 years. This history makes the upcoming Visions of Mana especially significant, an original action RPG tale featuring a new playable cast. I recently had the opportunity to play through a demo of this ambitious return, and was glad to find a nice dose of nostalgia in my experience, with some distinction. Got some syrup. <laughs> Taking this? There's no coming back from a fall like that. The gameplay in the demo was the focus of the roughly hour-long experience, which included a dungeon and field exploration. The playable party consists of protagonist Vale, alongside two companions, Karina and Morley. Vale's childhood friend Hina was also present, but not playable in any capacity. Based on the little time that I had with the game, I can't really go into the characterizations or storytelling, although seeing as I played through the English sub, I was surprised to hear Karina has a southern accent. I didn't really expect that. Regardless, these demos primarily serve to acquaint us with the combat system bolstered by elemental vessels. These key items are crucial for two reasons, elemental triggers and class switching. The latter works as you'd expect, especially for those who've played Trials of Mana, acting as a catalyst to make the characters feel a little more unique. Most vitally, all these characters receive different classes from the same elemental vessel, making one of the critical facets of the experience about finding a balance or playstyle you want with the vessels to empower. For instance, Val's default character character actions seemingly exhibit a melding of agility and power, while the wind elemental class known as Rune Knight trades off speed for enhanced strength. When switching between classes in practice, it immediately became clear that these differences aren't just minor alterations implemented for the illusions of variance. Instead, they fundamentally change how you approach battles, with movement speed at the core. The movement speed is swift, allowing you to explore and try new things around the field. The elemental vessels, particularly the Luna Globe with its time-altering capabilities, also introduces intriguing combat dynamics promising a rich variety of tactical approaches. The demo further revealed a seamless integration of character switching and battle transitions, maintaining a fluid gameplay momentum reminiscent of the series' previous titles. An active dodge mechanism contributes to a combat tempo that strikes a balance between accessible for newcomers and engaging for series veterans. Moreover, the iconic ring menu returns, maintaining a tangible connection to the series' roots. Exploration in Visions of Mana represents a significant evolution from its predecessors, with semi-open fields that expand the scope for discovery and questing. The introduction of Pykul as a mount not only adds a novel element to navigation, but also signifies a departure from the series' traditional canon travel system. During my conversation with producer Masaru Oyamada-san, it was clarified the deliberate omission of canons, suggesting a reimagining of the world traversal that aligns with the game's fresh narrative and gameplay direction. The elemental vessel's role extends beyond combat, influencing environmental interactions and puzzle solving. The sylphid boomerang and the Luna globe, for example, manipulate air currents and time, respectively, introducing new layers of exploration and obstacle navigation. While the impact of these mechanisms on the overall game complexity remains to be seen, their integration speaks to the developer's commitment to refreshing the gameplay experience without overwhelming players with excessive complexity. In truth, however, I'm not expecting these obstacles to be thought-provoking game changers. But not every system has to have layers of continuous player interaction and introspection to be effective. I'll likely be satisfied as long as the elemental vessels don't come off as dull and corporations are forgettably mindless. I should emphasize that Visions of Mana is still in development, so my points and such aren't based on the finalizations of the game. Still, my major critique after playing the game is how air movement is stiff, particularly when performing air combos. This design choice could have been purposeful to make players embrace commitment and consequence with their aerial actions, but it does feel contrary to the ground combos, which came across as freer in your ability to cancel out. 
out. Granted, this is probably a design philosophy I could grow used to the longer I've played. It just stood out to me in this short experience. The prospect of diving into a new chapter of the Mana series, after over a decade of anticipation, evokes a blend of excitement and curiosity. Visions of Mana promises not just a return to the cherished realms of its predecessors, but a bold step forward in the series evolution. With its diverse combat mechanics, expansive exploration opportunities, and the introduction of novel gameplay elements, the game is poised to offer a refreshing yet nostalgically rich adventure to both longtime fans and newcomers alike. As the narrative and character dynamics continue to unfold, the potential for Visions of Mana to redefine the series' legacy remains immense, marking a thrilling chapter in the storied saga of Mana. Now, enjoy some gameplay. Looks like the vessel had an effect. Selfid? <laughs> well, you certainly took your time. No arm, um, no flow of mana power, and then a gigantic monster shows up. I have not had it easy. Oh. <sighs> Wait a minute. Let's see here. I know you! You're the one-winged oracle, aren't you? Spirits like you. Yes, you're quite compatible. If you have both Ramco and the wind on your side, I see no reason not to make you the arm. It's decided. Uh, Karina, one who dances on the wind with sacred peace. By the grace of the goddess of mana, I name you the arm of wind. Noisy pixel. <laughs> 